Hello, I'm Dan Toppy and welcome to Going For Gold, the series where I give you the quickest and easiest ways to earn the golden camo on your weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Today, we're going to be covering the Pharaoh Burst Fire SMG. It's the only Burst Fire SMG in the game and it's a pretty interesting gun to use because there is a few little ways that you can make it better. But if you haven't seen one of these episodes before, what I do is I go through the best class you want to be using to get your first nine headshot camos, then I move on and tell you what you need to change that class and your player style to better suit the challenge camos after that. So starting off with the class you want to be using to get those first nine headshot camos as quickly and easily as possible. You're going to want the Pharaoh and then you're going to want the red dot sight, the long barrel, the grip and the quick draw grip. The perks that you want to take is afterburner in perk 1, fast hands in perk 2 and awareness in perk 3 and finally a tactical concussion grenade. Now just a quick run through of why I chose those attachments and perks. The red dot I chose over the elo sight because you do want to play in this gun at quite far ranges because it is a burst for SMG. It does handle really well at long ranges because it has really low recoil. And then the grip and the long barrel just help you to maintain the accuracy at even further ranges. And the quick draw really helps you in them close quarter situations. And for the perks, I've chosen Afterburner just so you can move around the map a lot quicker. Because you are playing with an SMG, you don't play in quite quickly. Even though you don't stay in quite far back because it is a burst fire, you can still get up in the face and win those gunfights. I've chosen Fast Hands because you are going for them headshots. So you want to be using that red dot sight as much as possible and aiming down sight to get them kills. This will just mean that you're a lot more accurate than with a hip fire, and you're more likely to get a lot more headshots. In perk 3, I've got a awareness just so you can hear where the enemy is coming from because it is burst fire and is really accurate at long range you can play quite slowly with it so you will have enemies that are trying to sneak up behind you to kill you and finally the concussion just concuss enemies in close range so it's easier for you to get the headshot kills like i said with this gun it is burst fire so you can play quite slowly but when you are up in the enemy's faces you can just hold down your trigger it is a burst fire but it does fire automatically much like the xr2 does in the assault rifle class so if you do just run up into their faces and hold down your fire trigger, it'll keep firing the bursts automatically. Most of you will probably already know this, but if you didn't, it's just a really helpful way to get more bullets down into the enemies faster. Because when you are single firing, it is more accurate at long range, so if you are playing at extreme long ranges with it, do single burst fire it, because it will mean that your recoil does reset between each burst. But if you are quite close up, you can just spray into them by holding down your trigger. This is a good gun, but in them extreme close ranges where you are going to be going up against other SMGs like the Weevil, Vespa and VMP, which are a lot better because they are full auto and they do have a faster fire. Rate, you are going to lose out on them so you do want to be trying to pre-fire and pre-aim as much as possible. After you've got 100 headshots with that class and you've earned your first 9 camos you're going to want to move on to your next 5 challenge camos. The first challenge you're going to need to complete is the Ardent Challenge. To do this you need to get 10 revenge medals whilst using the Pharaoh. You'll earn these whilst you're playing just by killing the enemies that killed you but if you do want to speed it up a bit you can use the Rejack Specialist. The next camo is Burn and to complete this you need to take off all of your attachments and optics. You can add some more perks and if you think they'll help you. I would say put on Gung Ho just because it's really good because it will help you hip fire a lot easier with this gun and now that you don't have the sight on and you're not going for headshots you don't have to aim down sight as much. The third challenge camo is Bliss and Bliss is the opposite of Burnt. For Bliss you need to put on five attachments and an optic and this is a class that I recommend that you should use. You want the Pharaoh with the long barrel grip and quick draw grip. And then for your perks, you want the same perks I had on before, but you want Gung Ho on as well. This class is better suited towards getting kills in a quick amount of time because you don't have the sight on because you don't really need it because the iron sights are good, but you do really need it when you are going for the headshots. But now you aren't going for headshots, you don't need it anymore, so you can take that one off. And then you can replace it with Gung Ho when you've taken off your concussion grenade. Gung Ho is going to mean you can keep up that fast pace of play because you can hit fire while still sprinting. I find with this gun that when I'm just going for kills in some situations, I actually prefer just to hit fire because it's very accurate with this gun and sometimes it aim down sight isn't really worth it. The final two camos are Battle and Chameleon. For Battle you need to get 5 double kills and Chameleon you need to get 5 bloodthirsty kills. These two should be pretty easy to do with this gun because it's a strong gun. You might even be able to do them whilst you're completing the others. If you can't, just use the same class that I've just said. Play with that and then you should be able to get them fairly quickly. And once you've completed all of them, you should have the gold camo and you can then go on to get the diamond camo for all the submachine guns. Well that is all of my tips on how to get the golden camo on the Pharaoh in the shortest amount of time possible. If you have enjoyed this video it has been useful. Please make sure you like comment and subscribe go follow me on twitter it's at dan toppy check out the going for gold playlist in the description down below and i'll see you in my next video